Now, there's been a lot of talk about HECO reaching its cap for grid supply PV systems, but there are still other types of PV systems that can be installed. In today's energy innovation segment, we are learning about the smart home battery system. Take a look. I am here with David Gorman with Revolution, and David, today we're talking about the new self-supply program from HECO. We are. So it's actually not that new. It's been around since the net metering program closed uh, last October. Uh, but the grid supply program, which came out with self-supply, recently closed. So if you didn't get your application in for the grid supply program... Shame on you. It's no, <laughs> no longer taking applications, okay. but that's what we're here for. So there is a self-supply program. All that means is that when you get your PV system, now you're going to have to get batteries or a storage system with that PV system. So uh, up until now, everybody that's gotten a PV system has traded electricity with the utility. That daytime electricity they're not using right away, they export onto the grid, and then you take that back at night. Now, with the new programs, we can't export any power onto the grid. So instead of exporting it, we put it into our batteries, and then we use that power at night. Okay, so tell us how that battery system works. It's very simple. So they're lithium-ion batteries. We have a number of different products, depending on you know what best suits the homeowner's needs here at the Innovation Center. Uh, and uh, that PV system, the excess power, is going to get stored into the batteries, and then at night, you will pull that power out of the batteries to run all the things in your home. Okay, so we're looking at the battery right now, we are, right? Yes. Okay, so it takes up a little bit of space. It does. Um, depending on the product, they either need to be mounted indoors or outdoors. Uh, the Tesla Power Wall can be indoor or outdoor. It's a wall-mounted unit. Uh, this is the Sunverge system, which is a steel enclosure protecting the batteries and the inverter and everything that's in there. And then we also have a Sonin product, uh, which is very similar to the Blue Ion, which Hank Rogers' company here in Hawaii, which uses Sony lithium ion battery. Okay, uh, I've, I've heard of that. Now, are all of these safe? They are. They're all uh, UL listed, UL approved. Um, you know, they all have slightly different lithium ion battery chemistries, but definitely been tested. They're cool, they're safe. Uh, the fire departments are comfortable with them, all of that. And okay. the Tesla. It's very similar battery chemistry that's actually been in the vehicles for over a decade now, if you can believe it. Mm. Uh, Tesla cars have been around for over 10 years now wow. with these batteries powering them. So how, how uh, cost effective are they? Are they? they are, they're extremely cost effective. Um, we can actually finance these systems either through a lease or a loan. Um, if you purchase the system, you're looking at a payback usually around eight or nine years uh, on the entirety of the PV and the battery system. Uh, you can lease a system, no money out of pocket, pay monthly, pay less than what you're paying Hawaiian Electric now, and lock in your cost of energy over the next 20 years. So we've all seen sort of our electric bills get a little bit lower this year versus last year because the rates have come down. We can lock you in at a rate even lower for that, lower than that, and lock that rate in uh, out into the future. So, you know, over the long term, you can really save a lot of money with a PV and storage solution. And one of the best things is when you get PV plus storage, your house is resilient now against a power outage. So if there is a grid failure, your house or a portion of your house can still run off the batteries. Okay. So you'll have power when your neighbors don't. So I already have a PV system. Mm -hmm. Is it too late? Can I not, not get Not battery? at all. So while batteries are required for new PV installations uh, that aren't in the grid supplier net metering programs, uh, if you do have an existing PV system, it's all retrofitable to existing, existing PV. So if you just want it for emergency backup, uh, we can install the battery onto your existing PV system. And like a backup generator, you'll have that backup power if there's a grid failure. Okay, good to know. So that when the rest of your street runs out of power... It'll be, it'll be at your house. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Thank you so much, David. Again, if you had questions, if some of that was a little confusing for you, come on down to the Innovation Center. You guys have free workshops once a month. Yeah, we know it all. It is pretty confusing, and it almost seems to change weekly. So we have these learning sessions, uh, our smart home seminars at the Innovation Center on the third Saturday of every month, okay. about you know an hour, hour and a half. You'll come in the morning on Saturday, 10 to 11. And you can really, you know, ask all the questions and learn all the nitty-gritty details of, of how these programs and the products work. All right. Thank you so much, David. Thank you, Trini.
All right, David Gorman with Revolution joins us now with information on a sweepstakes that you guys are having. That's right. So it's the end of summer, so we're having our smart home sweepstakes. Basically, um, you can enter to win a $5,000 shopping spree at Revolution. So we know everybody's home is a little bit different, and so uh, we'll give you you know, a $5,000 budget, and you can pick between the whole house fans, the air conditioning, the V-Lux skylights, sun tunnels, and just you know, pick a combination of products that are going to really improve your home and make it more energy efficient. Okay, I don't know a person who could not yes. use that, um, but how do you enter? So uh, you know, we're social, so uh, go on Facebook, like us, you'll get a link to the entry form off that our Facebook site. Um, you can also follow us on Instagram, same thing. Once you follow us, you'll get the link. Um, if you're not social, you can go to our website. Uh, it's the third banner as it scrolls across, so you just click on that and it'll get, give you the entry form. Okay. Um, you, you kind of briefly mentioned it already, but with, those, with that $5,000, there are so many smart home technologies out there. Can you just kind of list some of the ones that people might need? For sure. So, you know, it's still kind of warm. You know, we're getting out of the summer, but the whole house fans, you know, people really love. Uh, get that nice cool fresh air into the home so you can get you know a couple of whole house fans with that budget you could also uh, sort of put that in combination with some natural lighting products so the sun tunnels are you know only about a thousand dollars each so you know we can combine that with a whole house fan you could get a beautiful skylight like you know what we have in our kitchen and you know really dramatically improve the kitchen that way uh, you can also uh, check out our haiku fans by the big ass fan company so those are beautiful elegant uh really energy efficient ceiling fans that actually work really well with air conditioning so lots of options yes. uh, for every home and actually we've done stories on a lot of those things that you just mentioned so if you missed it you can go to our website and and check it all again um we're out of time but i know that uh, november 19th you guys have a workshop we do up. so if you want to come in and learn that's our next smart home seminar so okay. uh, november 19th 10 to 11 come see us and learn about self-supply and learn about smart home all right, David, thank you so much. Again, uh, Revolution, everything you need to know about uh, getting your home smart. We try our best. <laughs>